As clinically actionable genomic lesions are found in almost 30% of pancreatic cancers that can potentially impact management, there has been increased focus on molecular profiling. Although tissue acquisition under EUS guidance is an established diagnostic method, the technique of final biopsy for comprehensive molecular profiling has not been standardized, and therefore the procedural outcomes have been variable. In this educational video, we propose a reliable evidence-based method for comprehensive molecular profiling in pancreatic cancer. We recommend the use of a 22-gauge Francine needle. Based on the results of two randomized trials, tissue sampling should be undertaken by adopting the fanning technique as it yields diagnostic quality material with fewer passes and the starlet retraction maneuver as it yields the best cellularity. Two passes should be procured for cell block and two additional passes for molecular profiling. Once the pancreatic mass is identified, it is punctured using the 22-gauge Francine needle. Sampling is performed starting at the left quadrant of the mass and the needle is fanned within different areas of the lesion. We recommend three accentuations at each location and ideally four locations within a mass must be targeted. During the fanning maneuver, the technician or the nurse must slowly retract the stylet. If rapid on-site evaluation is available, adopting the touch prep method, a small piece of the specimen from pass 1 may be assessed for adequacy. We recommend performing two passes and then collecting the tissue in 10% formalin for specimen processing and staining. Two additional passes are then formed and collected in 10% formalin for molecular profiling. In the lab, formalin fixed paraffin embedded blocks are created, which are then used for extraction of RNA and DNA for molecular profiling. In a randomized trial designed to identify the optimal number of FNB passes for molecular profiling in pancreatic cancer, we observed no difference in outcomes between two or three passes. While DNA mutations were identified in all 33 specimens in both groups, 12% of the study cohort had clinically relevant or actionable mutations that included BRCA1 in 1, KRAS G12C mutations in 2, and somatic oncogene RNA fusion LDAH ETV1 in 1 patient. The presence of BRCA1 indicated that the patient would benefit from oxyplatin-based chemotherapy than conventional treatment. Patients with the rare G12C mutations can be targeted using sotorosib or adograsib. And presence of LDAH ETV1 somatic oncogene RNA fusion indicated desiroplastic stromal expansion and metastatic progression of the pancreatic cancer, denoting futility of aggressive chemotherapy in this patient. By performing two dedicated passes using the 22 gauge Francine FNB needle and adopting the fanning technique and the stylet retraction maneuver, optimal specimen can be procured for extraction of RNA and DNA for comprehensive molecular profiling in pancreatic cancer. If you want to observe and learn evidence based practices and know more about state of the art EUS technologies, please attend Florida Live. EUS from August 17th to 19th, 2023 in Orlando, Florida, where advanced interventions will be performed by internationally reputed faculty from around the world. Please join us at Florida Live, where the magic of endoscopy begins.